Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Steven Selly. I'm a 5'10 dunker. I dunk harder than everyone you know. Today I want to talk to you about a goal that was achieved simply through mindfulness in three months and it took me three years to even get close. I didn't jump any higher. The simple thing was that I started to believe and visualize it, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. And I feel like meditation and mindfulness has changed my performance. What is meditation? Why do you need it in sports? The simple thing for me to remember is that when I meditate even just five minutes a day, I focus on my breath and that refocus. And there's plenty of videos for you to watch on YouTube, but that refocus and trying to stay focused on your breath, when I'm through my waking life, when I'm at the gym, I think about my breath and then I can be aware of my mindset and all these different factors that are playing into my performance. So there's three reasons I think meditation is essential for your athletic performance. The number one thing is the physical oxygen I give to my body by breathing deeply and remembering to breathe more. That oxygen helps my muscles work better together and helps me work effortlessly. If not, I'm tensed up, that anxiety, whatever I'm thinking about, my muscles tense up and they don't work smoothly. So just breathing alone and getting extra oxygen in my body is a huge benefit for my muscles and my body to work better during my performance. Number two is the mindset. Uh, for me, I like to be the underdog in a situation. I've noticed that over the years when I'm playing against somebody that I have no chance of winning against, or I think I don't, which is a confidence thing I should probably think about, is that I feel like I'm in a win-win. It's like, they're supposed to beat me, I can't lose, I'm free. I feel free to play how I want and play hard. Whatever state it is that you wanna be in when you're performing against somebody or competing, you can use this mindfulness practice to get yourself in the right mindset to help you perform at your best in whatever scenario you're in. Eliminate all the fear. That leads me to my third point, which is visualization. The visualizing has changed my dunk journey. There was a dunk, a two-hand dribble dunk that I couldn't do for three years. And then I started visualizing myself making it and it changed my workouts because I realized I couldn't even get myself to believe that I could achieve it. So I had to go to a low rim to slowly build up my belief in myself. And once I did that, I literally got the dunk. So, visualize yourself achieving a goal and it literally changes your current state of being so you can change your energy and tell your body to start reinforcing those patterns that you succeeded at what you're doing so you could believe it. But you have to believe it before you can achieve it and one way to start believing it is to visualize. Yo, I can prove it to you right now. Think of a moment of greatness in your sport where you achieve something amazing and if you visualize it with all your senses, your palms will sweat. Or you could think about in a moment that you've already achieved. We've all experienced our palms sweating from some kind of thought and that's proof that your body doesn't know the difference between a thought that's happened in a different time and your current reality. So use this visualization and change your current skin body. But the point is, visualize yourself achieving something so you can believe it and your subconscious starts to believe it and you unlocked all the potential and that's freaking amazing. So that's it. Use meditation to strengthen that muscle of refocus, build your awareness, and achieve more and enjoy more. And that's it. Stay tuned for more videos where I help you dunk and do anything, bro.